What's up, Juniverse? We are officially 40 weeks pregnant. We made it. 40 weeks pregnant. It's not 40 weeks. It is 40 weeks. No, it's 39 and a half. Okay, 39 and a half. But we are three, four days out from this little... Nugget? ...being born. This big nugget. It's well, come no. Come out from there, well. and then it's going to go up a little bit to here, and which will then travel to this side all the way down, and then... Out the belly out. button, like Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's how babies are born. Anyways... Needless to say, I'm very excited, but also, I'm a little petrified because of the whole process. So wait, wait what are you what are you scared of? What? Losing losing a couple of uh, fingers? No. What do you mean the whole process? Of like birthing and like. Oh, for you. Yeah, no, nobody for dies. Me. I don't want anybody to die. Oh, okay. Less people to die. I think, I think you might faint. No, I won't. Yes, you will. No, I won't. Okay. How do you feel about the birth? Honestly, right now. Right now. Right now. Right now I, are you actually recording? Or yeah. Are you just faking? No, 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 it's recording. I wanted to have, before I was like, no, let's just wait. I, I think, I think you could carry her for like 50 weeks. Um, right now I am ready. And I'm ready to take on the challenge. I'm kind of, like, anx not anxious, excited to take on the challenge. I know that sounds bizarre because it's supposed to be really, really painful. But I kind of want to, like, take it on. Be like, bring it on, body. I can do it. And then, of course, we'll see what happens. So I do have a birthing plan. June knows nothing about it because he doesn't read any of the articles I send him. So I know the birthing plan. June's just supposed to be there. He's going to sing. He's going to sing a cappella or with karaoke and then do whatever I tell him to. He'll be supporting me. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm excited, I'm anxious, and I'm curious to see when she's going to come out. Hopefully she doesn't stay there long and we don't have to induce her. All the winter babies are lazy, they want to stay inside, don't want to come out to the cold. So we shall see. Anyways, there's this thing I've been doing for about 20-something weeks. I've been singing to the baby every oh. so often, and and it's the same song every time. And my, my theory is that when the babies in the womb are conditioned to a certain song, when they come out, they'll be a little more um, uh, conditioned to feel a certain way after they're born, hearing the same song. So, interruption, my speech background, the only way that that works is if the mom likes the song and is soothed by it. And then my vital signs, my heart rate, all that, my blood pressure changes when I hear the song. So if all this time I've been hating you singing it, then it's going to have the adverse effect on me. Well, then the experiment doesn't work then. Because it the does work. No, it because the, con the control group is uh, tampered. Because the control was supposed to be uh, you being neutral, and then the baby would just hear the song. Well, I was never told to be neutral. I was just Okay, well here's a little snippet of the song. We're gonna sing this song to the baby. Let's do it. Let's do it. Bring her, bring her here. Bring her here. When I am down And oh my soul so weary when troubles come and my heart burdened be, then I am still and wait here in the silence until you come and sit a while with me. You raise me up so stand on mountains you raise me up to walk on stormy seas I am strong when I am on your shoulders you raise me up to more than I 
can be.